M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. One of my favorite devices is the ATS120 that you're seeing here. Touch screen receiver that does receive all the HF band, very compact, has a you know, telescopic antenna, but you can connect an antenna to the bottom using a 3.5 jack, which actually works a lot better than the TK11. So um, ATS have brought out a new one and it's called the ATS125. Now this isn't a HF receiver, but is a, a super receiver and you'll see now as we scroll through. So it's touchscreen, 2.4 inch touchscreen color. It's got this new chip that call, that is called the Tango Echo Foxtrot TEF6686. And because of it, the everything is super, yeah? It's, it's, like, it's like the super chip that's been released recently. It has a full keypad. Now what you'll find with the 120 is the keypad is basically the screen. Uh, but this one actually has a full keypad. It does have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and it will even act as a Bluetooth speaker. So it, you know, the Bluetooth works both ways, firmware via Wi-Fi as well. So it's a very desirable looking unit. You can see the buttons on top there. It's got squelch and volume. It's got a nice loud speaker. And on the right, you can see the the demonstration video from ATS and the menu structure is extensive. Let's try and catch some of it. There's a, a signal meter. You've got that circuit board design on the bottom. So if I can uh, just take a look, this is straight from the seller. And it, it's, it's a far, you know, he's going through this fast, but look at all the selections. You've got Wi-Fi, you could type your frequency, nice signal meters, that brushed aluminium look, the sort of circuit board at the top and the bottom. They do it, but it looks, it's very techy, if you ask me. I like it. Um, I mean, this, if I connect this to my HF, uh, I might have a go in a second. Uh, but, it's, you know, this one is shortwave, medium wave, broadcast radio. We'll scroll down through the settings in a sec. I want you to see the close-up of our friend here. USB-C chargeable, 2,500 milliamp hour battery. They literally last for ages. And you can go in and you can change all the, you know, the parameters of each band and mode. But unfortunately, it's 27 meg, so no problem with receiving CBFM. But as soon as you go to 10 meters HF, I think they've purposely done this, you're more you're better off getting this. But from a broadcast radio point of view, I think you're probably going to get more bands and frequencies using this. And they've got this thing here. It says NXP high sensitive radio. And you've got a big orange button there as well. So let's scroll down through some of the um, the, the the brochure. So as we scroll, I'm going to just read what some of the, you know, the titles say. Powerful bass, clear highs, 40 millimeter long, full range speakers okay uh portable radio receiver there's the nxp tef 6686 chip ultra high sensitivity i don't think you get the table as well there's your circuit board design squelch and tune button so i'm not seeing volume though. i'm seeing squelch and tune it does say boot there and there's your charge so look at the frequency range. So, you know, some will say, look, it hasn't got SSB. I'm not interested. I get that. Fair enough. This is one of those gadgets that you just take out in the car and just sit there and just scan and listen to, you know, these these bands. So we've got 65 here. We, it definitely clearly does air band broadcast radio. And it's going up to 108 megahertz on the FM. Shortwave is... 1700 to 2700 kilohertz medium wave 522 to 1719 or 91 sorry 520 1720 and then long wave 144 kilohertz and then it goes into the sensitivity of the device which i you know you can read all those specs but you know you need to get out and about with a with a device like this if you connect it to an external scanner antenna like a discone then yeah, you're going to receive loads um, in your actually inside your house. You will receive a lot more than you would say on the handbands inside your house because um, the signals that we're getting from these broadcast stations are a lot stronger. They are uh, air bands flying over your head. So I think you're going to do fine. It's going to be a pure joy to use this touch screen, full color. 
You can see all the different settings tinkering. It's a real tinkerer's delight, isn't it? Uh, do we need it? Of course we don't. Don't need it. But do we love tinkering with different gadgets? Yeah. Of course we do. Uh, so you've got the buttons there. If you look here, we've got band, mode, bandwidth, DX, enter or frequency. It looks like you've got speaker and speaker mute. Is that the Wi-Fi? And then, yes, you can plug in some headphones. It's just a very nice design. This is this is what caught my attention straight away and is the design. It's just a nice looking design, full stop. So is the the 120. It's just a nice design. Keep going down through, but I think we've pretty much seen it now. I did make a list, but everything we've discussed is pretty much in that list. Check it out, you know. Let me know what you think. Do you think, well, it would have been nice if they included SSB, and I agree. But they, you know, they are a business and they do want to make sure that we buy their their sort of whole range of radios. So I feel like I have remembered everything. It's got an ESP32 room board in it, which is very common in these budget receivers. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, about 65, 70 pounds. Um, the, the, the air band, yeah, all my notes that I've made are there. Remember, it is touch screen, it's got that big battery, and in the package, it's a very basic package, so you're not going to get anything flashy in the package. So, thanks for watching my channel, and um, I'll put the link in. I've definitely got one coming so we can test it for me. Broadcast radio and air band has got a lot to listen to, so. And I just love gadgets. And that's it. It's a gadget addiction. And most of us are. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now. 7-3. All the best. ATS-125 with the TEF-6686 chip. And I'll put a link in to that chip. And it says the low IF tuner high performance one chips TEF 66868A are single chip radio ITs, including AM, FM, radio tuner software, defined radio signal processing. Uh, they extend NXP Semiconductor's broad industry proven car radio signal tuner portfolio, offering outstanding radio performance with the widest range of features and state of the art algorithms at optimized systems cost <laughs> and so on so on so on so yeah even says here look um or further down oh this is quite key the radio receiver includes highest feature sets fma and front end tuning synthesizer channel filtering fm channel equalization fm multi-path improvement demodulation fm stereo decoding weak signal processing noise blank and rds yeah i should have mentioned that rds and look it goes on uh, can provide stereo, DAC. Yeah, look, you've got a whole list there. So, you know, you're getting a, a chip that's probably took years to develop. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.